Um, it's called Echoes. The wind around the city echoes. Underneath the stairs of Metro Bastille and Sophia Rimeau. And late at night, tired civilians float into the underground currents of air to escape the fatigued exhales of the city and catch the last train home. We levitate, almost too tired to sit down on the benches thrown on the ground next to the trenches where the train will soon come and welcome us into its pulsating belly. Our faces are drawn into tight expressions, simply out of habit, out of which it is too hard to snap at the moment, especially when we're all alone. No one's here to see our misplaced grimaces or sagging features. No one's looking at anything except something too far off in the distance. Maybe there's also an occasional sideways glance down the tracks from where the train will come any minute now. Any minute now, and we're too tired to make every minute last. We've tried, but now each minute is cast into the gutters for the rats, perhaps. These are the only thoughts still sloshing around in our lonely minds tonight, and, and just then, you hear a sound. Saxophone. Yes, oh yes, the best time to play jazz is it alone on a Thursday night when you know, you know you will feel each soul that hears your voice with warm chicken soup or maybe tea with marmalade. And just like that, we're all in the same boat, ready to flow down the underground currents wherever they may take us. But at the moment, we're all warmed by the caressing tones that tickle the bones and heat up the marrow between the eyes too narrow. Relax your face and realize you are one and the same as she or I. So please don't fight it, just smile. You know you want to. Your shoulders ache too. Smile, my stranger friend. We're all in the strain until the last stop. So stop for a minute and let the jazz seduce you. And we're all together in this.